Hi folks, welcome back to another edition of Brewing Build. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting this week to give you a bit of an insight on how, uh, where we get our honey from for our meads and our braggots uh, and our honey beers. I'm not going to profess to be any sort of expert beekeeper, that's my wife's hobby. But I'll give you a, a, a quick rundown on maybe some of how the hives work and how we extract the honey from them. You can see we've got a number of boxes in the hive. Uh, we've got a, a large box down the bottom and that's the brood box. That's where the queen lays all of the eggs and uh, the new bees are hatched. There's then a board that stops the queen from getting up into the upper boxes. Uh, but all the worker bees can get into these upper boxes and these boxes are called supers. And that's where they, the, the bees bring back all of the nectar. They put the nectar into the, uh, the honeycomb. They'll dehydrate the nectar and turn it into honey. These super boxes we then will take uh, and take inside. We'll decap them and we'll extract the honey. I'll show you a bit more of that inside. Um, we never take all of the honey from the bees because the bees are obviously collecting this for their winter storage of food. So we always make sure there's more than enough honey left in each of the boxes that they can survive through the winter. So we'll go inside and I'll show you a little bit about the uh, honey extraction method. We've removed some of the supers from one of the hives and as I said out there the supers are where the bees store the nectar uh, and then they dehydrate that nectar and turn it into honey. The supers are full of frames and when they're ready for honey, if I remove one you can see it's nice and white across the front which means they've capped it all. Uh, that means they've dehydrated the nectar properly so that they're happy that it's good honey then they cap over the top of it so that it's stored for future food. What we now do is we slice the top of the cap off on both sides of the frame. We'll put this into the extractor machine which then spins uh, and it flings the honey out uh, under centripetal force uh, and then that runs down the side of the, the uh, extractor and we collect it. So we'll put it in there and we'll show you how we do that process. <laughs> 